at the junction of Sherman Street in Cambridge and the Fitchburg branch, the Fitchburg line, an old railroad line that was known as Thoreau. And there's a branch off of it that goes all the way to the Watertown Arsenal that's been abandoned. So today's mission is to examine that. The city of Watertown has made some significant strides towards converting it to a bicycle walk trail along the lines of the extremely popular Minuteman bike trail. And when you see how it ties into the Charles River via Watertown, in addition to its proximity to the Minuteman over at Alewife and several others, it's probably a fairly important element, a missing piece of the puzzle in the growing effort to figure out where to put the bicycles. Boston is choking from the rising popularity of bicycles and it's a completely laudable way to get around, especially in a miserable city like Boston where driving has been likened to trying to maneuver a wheelbarrow in your living room. <coughs> so if they can figure this out, it'll really go a long way towards helping the area grow up. Now I don't recommend following this track stuff necessarily. Although it's 10.30 or so in the morning and rush hour is over, but for the purposes of trail completion, this particular aspect doesn't even matter that much. We really want to look at the parts that we'll see momentarily up at I think it's called Danahy Park. Now you can sort of tell that this particular segment doesn't get a lot of use as it is now. The trails are rusty and looking up ahead you can kind of see they're all rippled and out of shape. So it's these rails here that bear all the commuter rail traffic and everything else, they're in good shape and they're very shiny. Sure sign that they're being used. So this is where the Watertown branch began. Where it heads off to the Watertown arsenal. They probably use this to haul battleship cannons and such back in the day. So now, to the accompaniment of some sort of noisy landscaper junk, we'll follow this overgrown, sad little rail remnant Reports I've read online have suggested that the tracks are so bad, nothing's been run on any segment of this since around 2007, and that was down in the Watertown part. But these things were considered unsafe even at speeds of three miles an hour, and I guess this is a pretty good example of what they must mean.
over off in the distance, you see Alewife Brook Parkway. We're not far from Alewife Station, which is another facet of why this right of way is in potentially outstanding connection. Ah, look at how wonderfully overgrown it is. Probably not a lot of ticks here either. So as you can see, this is something of a bushwhack. It should be fascinating. Wouldn't be hard to clear a bit on some kind of voluntary level. All the familiar invasives are just having a jolly old time. Here's your Japanese knotweed. Oh, here's a little connection to the park. Maybe, eh, the heck with it. This is, this is one way that you could access the park where the real line goes. Yeah, why don't we just do that? have a broken fence and some kind of path. I believe we're on the back side of Danny Park or whatever it's called. So we came from there. I'll follow this roadbed a bit. Let's see what it does. It's sort of running in parallel to the old rail line. But it should be joining up with it soon. The ever present Robin scouting ahead. Yeah, what is this basketball? Some kind of athletic facility. getting their walks. This is all the signs of a city thing. Oh look, it's a catbird. It's got the usual robin. 